Hi everybody, welcome back to Daisy and welcome to the beautiful Daisy Winter Churnerus V2. Um, the um, exceptional modder, Lad, has taken up the mantle of making sure that Winter Churnerus is compatible with Daisy updates going forward. And to do this, he's released his own version of Winter Churnerus, Winter Churnerus V2. I understand he was on the original development team for Winter Churners and he is keeping this absolutely beautiful mod going. So in this video I'm going to be showing you how to install it. Um, and if you haven't tried uh, something like Winter Churners or Winter Livonia, I really recommend you do because we've all played Churners an awful lot, but Winter Churners, it just transforms it and it's like you're discovering the area all over again. So anyway, I digress. Let's exit out of here because we're going to need to look at this. So the first things, as always, you're going to start off in Steam. You're going to go to the Daisy Workshop. You're going to search for Winter Churnerus, um, and you're going to go to the V2 version. I'll put a link in the description below this video, and then you're going to subscribe. And what you'll see straight away is, like many of the best mods, this mod does not have any dependency, so there's nothing that can break it if it stops working. It makes it relatively easy to install. Um, now, always have a really good read of the uh, instructions because there's some extra uh, little coding that we need to copy and paste in down below as well. Um, and also, I always recommend go down to the notes and the questions and comments and just read through them as well because there's always a chance if there's a problem, um, and it may well have just arrived at problems or just reared its ugly head, um, it could be that a lad or any modder hasn't had a chance to address it yet. So you can you can see down there and then see whether it's worth waiting a couple of days for. So anyway, what you want to do, once you're subscribed, fire up the Daisy launcher and it will download Winter Churners. Now it's quite a big download, so it's going to take a few minutes to download. And then what you want to do is you want to fire, fire up your FTP program. And I'm using FileZilla here. So on the left-hand side, this is all the local files. On the right -hand side, that will be where my site is. So if I go File, Site Manager, and we're going to do this on 1T, my test server. So that will now connect to there. So there it is. And then what we need on the left-hand side is we need to find where the mod is. Now, there is an easy way of doing this. If you're not sure where it is, if you just go to the Daisy Launcher, go to the Mod section, then go to the right of where the mod is and click on this little arrow. Click on these little three dots. Open folder in Windows Explorer. Just agree not to break anything. <laughs> that will then take you to the workshop folder. Now this isn't specifically where the mod is. These are all just short cuts to where the actual mods are. And in fact, if you do get problems with DBO errors, um, I highly recommend if you need to delete the mod and re-download it, don't delete the shortcut here. Go into it and then delete everything here so you would delete like that and you would right click and you would delete all that stuff because if you just delete this bit you're just deleting the shortcut not the actual file files themselves and if the modder for example adds some more or take some of the um, uh, PBOs away that can cause problems anyway so that's where all the mods are so if we just left click up here in this box that then gives us the address on our computer of where the where the workshop is so then we can go back to our filezilla just left click up here paste that over that press enter and there we go we're in the workshop so here's the workshop so on the left hand side you can see all the mods i've got far too many and we need to upload the winter churners one so i'm going to scroll down to find winter churners where is it winter churners for v2 there it is so making sure daisy standalone is clicked there over to winter churners right click upload now, I'm not going to do it now because I've already done it because it's quite a big file and it takes a while. But these will then upload over to here to Winter Cherus. Now, the next thing we need to do is there's a thing called a key. And the key is one of the ways that the server makes sure that anybody who wants to join the server has got the correct mods, kind of. So, <laughs> so all mods will have, well, mods should have a keys folder with a key in it. And then the server as you can see, has its own keys folder that will have all these keys in. So all we're going to do is just going to right-click that, upload, and that, as you can see, lad's key is there. Now, the next thing we need to do is we need to start editing some of these files. 
um, and within winter churnus there's the types fo uh, folder and we've got the types xml so these are the additional things that we need to add to the types xml on our server um, to, to make the mod work properly so we can right click that and we sh can click edit and what should happen is your text editor should, should open up so this for example this is my notepad plus plus I highly recommend this uh, text editor, very easy to use, and it kind of color codes stuff so you can see when you make mistakes, and trust me, I make lots of mistakes. Back to FileZilla, um, and then if we go in our missions folder, so this is, and then we've got daisyoffline.churnus plus, these are all the XMLs and the JSONs that make the server run properly, that tell the server what loot to spawn in and where the buildings are and all that sort of stuff. So if we go into the DB directory, we can see we've got the big types folder. So I can right click this, and I can say view edit it and this will then open it up in uh, notepad plus plus two so all I can, all I need to do is I can just copy that and then make a little bit of space at the top of the types and then just paste it in you see you know, I mean I've already done it so so there it is so this is the winter stash and the underground stash this is something I guess this is something that you can do in the mod to, to store things which is which is pretty cool and then we would save that and then when you go back to FileZilla, it will say, oh, your type of XML has changed. Do you want me to upload it? And you say, yes, please. Would you mind doing that? And it uploads it. Now, this is the thing that it's easy to forget to do. So now we go back to Steam and we scroll down and we can see we've got installation types. Add this to your types, which we've already done. And then the init.c, we need to replace the void main in your init.c with this. Um, now, I'm not quite sure what this means so lad if you watch this video if you mind explaining maybe with a comment below why we need to change this because it's something to do with the date now i understand it's setting the date as um christmas day um but yeah so anyway so how do you do that so what we do is we go back to filezilla um we go to daisyoffline.channels plus and init.c is there so we right click and we view edit that that then pops up and then we've got view main. Now your view main might look a little bit different to this, sorry, void main might look a little bit different. But what you want to do is if you copy all of this like this, copy, because obviously I've already done it, and you paste over from void main all the way to the last squiggly bracket before class customize custom mission mission server is there. Okay, so you do for, you replace all everything. So there's a couple of extra brackets that you'll need to get rid of. Save that. FileZilla is going to go. There's been a change. Do you want me to upload it? And you say yes, please. Back to the installation, and it says replace min man, max temps in your CFG gameplay.json. So we're just going to copy that. Go back to FileZilla. Look for CFG gameplay.json, which is there. So we can edit that. Scroll down. As you can see, I've already done it, but we're going to do it anyway. We're going to paste that there. We're going to save that. Go back to FileZilla. It says it's changed. Do you want me to upload it? Say yes. Now, before we go any further, we're quickly just going to go back to our server settings. So I better go to my server, hadn't I? <laughs> because we, we're not there yet. And we need to make sure that our CFG gameplay is activated. So these are all my servers. One T test server, there it is. Let's go to the web interface. We're going to go to the uh, general settings and we're going to scroll down and make sure that enable CFG gameplay.json is activated. Now, it could be that on your server provider, maybe you're using a dedicated boxes, you, you don't have a, a control panel with things like this. You're probably going to do it from your server dz.config and there should be a line in there that says enable CFG gameplay.json. Although, to be honest, if you've got that, you probably know what you're doing anyway. So enable CFG gameplay.json. Now we're going to, have to keep this page open because the other thing we're going to have to do in a minute is we're going to have to add that to the additional mods section as, as well. But for now, let's go back to Steam and scroll down a bit. And it says replace all of your CFG weather.xml code with that. So we can go through and we can copy all of that like so. Go back to FileZilla. So we want CFG weather.xml. And let's edit that. And you just, your file will be longer than this, but just select everything, paste it on top, save it, go back to FTP, FileZilla, 
upload that and that's uploaded that so all our files are sorted out now what we need to do next is just to make sure that the server starts with the proper mod um, now the way to make sure you get the spelling right is over here where we have winterchernus.v2 if you just left click that once and le uh, left click it again just copy that name right so you don't introduce any extra spaces or anything like that and then when we go back to our server's uh, general settings in the additional mods bit after any existing mod you've got in put a semicolon that's the dot with the cursor on underneath it and then paste in winterchernus v2 if you don't have this, this will be in your uh, Windows batch file that starts your server, or your .bat file. But again, if you've got one of those, you kind of probably know what you're doing anyway, so you don't need me to tell you anything about that. And then we just save the changes. Have a, have a think about, have we missed anything out? No, I don't think we have. <laughs> and then you just click restart your server. The server will go through the restart, and you'll be back with winter churnerus ready to go ready to enjoy and uh, big thumbs up big thanks has to go to uh, the lad with uh, keeping this mod alive i can't wait to have another go on it i love winter churnerus i wish we got this on console because although you could argue all it's doing is changing the texture i mean i know it does more than that but changing the textures and making it colder in our in our server that does change the survivability and it just looks different as well so hopefully you found this video useful. If you have, hit the like button. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And of course, I'll see you again soon.